So Zusa has a question that I think a lot of us have, which is uh, we start on a task we think is going to take an hour and a half, and then it ends up taking us like four or five hours. And it could be a variety of reasons. One, it could be techno technological, like sometimes there are of course tech glitches and we can't foresee that. And, but I hope, I'm assuming that that's a rare thing, the, you know, those kinds of tech glitches. Um, and, uh, and then other times though, if it's not a unusual, unforeseen thing, other times it's our perfectionism that's creating uh, things that take so long. So writing is an is writing or creating content is often one of these accordion like tasks that's like, sure, I'll take an hour and a half to write this web page. And then hour and a half passes and we're not happy with it or we took too long to even outline it or whatever. And right. so um, I think with, with any kind of accordion like tasks, it's even more important to write down the very specific uh, boundaries within that project for us. So for example, um, you know, if, if like, for example, like one of my accordion like tasks is preparing a module of, of a course. Right. You know, endless. go ahead. You, you were saying endless. It's, it, could, it could be. Yeah, exactly. Like, like the, when is, when are we done preparing for a course? <laughs> you know, we can always keep researching more or, or refining more or, you know, creating better graphics for anything. I mean, yeah, endless, like you said. So I basically, therefore, have learned over time to say, I'm going to prepare only three hours per hour, per, per 60 to 90 minutes of course delivery. I'm only going to give myself three hours, Ex with the exception of the very first module of a course, I give myself six hours because the very first module, it includes kind of me having to plan out the outline of the whole course so that I kind of know what goes into the first module. So that's why it takes me so much longer. But within those three or six hours, um, I am very specific to say, for example, I will show you on the screen here. Um, I have my, what I call my, my session uh, prep so, you know, um, when I'm preparing for a course, uh, let's see, I'm just going to show you this one, you know, by 10 minutes in, if I'm preparing the first session, bring all course ideas into one, actually, this takes longer than 10 minutes for the first session, I have to actually readjust these, these timelines, but, but no matter what, you can see that I've written down very specifically, you know, by 20 minutes in, what are the sessions essentials in just a few words? You know, you know, like I have to calm myself by like giving myself spreadsheet danger, take a breath, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's like, it's like things like that, you know? Um, so that's my recommendation is if you can, for copywriting, for course preparation, for any kind of thing that has an accordion, like <laughs> see if you can write down a, a, almost like an instruction manual for yourself and, and, and start to start to try to time the different segments in a reasonable way. And if the segments all add up to be 18 hours, <laughs> you know, then you say, nope, I'm not gonna spend 18 hours <laughs> on this. Let me see what I can, what segments I can take out, you know, because the other, the other tip or uh, the other major paradigm shift for me was when I realized everything can be done in versions. <sighs> Everything can be done in versions. So this is just the first version of the course. That's why I, I, that's why I can calm myself and say, no, I'm only going to prepare six hours for the first module, three hours for every subsequent module, because this is just the first version. I can, if I want to, I can teach version two again in three months, six months, nine months, three years, one year, whatever I want, I can teach it again. And in version two, guess what? I'll have version one already created. And version two, I'll still have six hours for the first module. Yay, now I get to really go to town and and do the other things I wanted to do I didn't have time to do in version one so yeah thank you also I think I'm not giving myself enough time like I'm unrealistic in how I assess the need for time maybe I could relax with that too totally that's true for everything we do that isn't already carefully timed out yeah we're we're idealistic and we say 
yeah, I think I can prepare the course in an hour. <laughs> you know? Oh, and the other thing that really helps me a lot is to have multiple sessions. Like when I say I'm going to prepare something for six sessions, I, I know myself, if I, if I only give myself six hours in one day, I will feel unsatisfied because the next day I'll be like, oh my God, I, I didn't think about putting this in or that in. So I have to do multiple sessions. I have to sleep on it, essentially. So if I have six hours to prepare the first module, I'm going to at least break it up into, you know, probably into, into, into three days, two hours per day, you know? So, mm. yeah. Thank you. God, these things are so remedial. It's almost... No, no, it's not. That's the thing. Like, especially <laughs> for, for smart people, uh, we, you know, those of us who are good at what we do and like are, are really deep into our content, we often forget these things we learned in kindergarten <laughs> or never learned in kindergarten or never learned in have. kindergarten and should have. Yeah, exactly. Like I have to remind myself, you know, three times a day. All right. We'll just write down the next steps. You know, it's, it's, you, you can't just, I, I can't, I can't just assume that, especially if it's something I haven't done a lot, that I'm just going to know how to do it, or I'm just going to do it. Uh, it's so much calming for me to write down the small steps and see if I can time each step approximately, you know, so then I go, oh, okay, I can spend 10 minutes doing this. That feels doable. If it's not doable, I got to write it down even smaller. So thank, thank you. Thanks, Susan, for bringing this up. Hey, George, may I? Yes, Greg. Lasered two, two editions. One, um, a, a vote for this wonderful book that you turned us on to a week or two ago, the Checklist Manifesto. That That's something that seems relevant that I've just begun. And immediately I'm going, oh, this is exactly uh, like a, a hat manual. Uh, you know, what hat yes. are we wearing at every given point? And right. also procedural step by step. So I'm already finding it super valuable. So that seemed relevant. And then the, yeah. the, second, the second one is, um, I love the ev everything. Oh, and, and I'm sorry, the other book, the other book I want to make sure, Work the System by Sam Carpenter. That's, that's another book that's also similar and it's even more geared towards uh, business people. So check that out too. Yes, I've, 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 I've read that one as, as well already. Yeah. Yes, it's yeah, a great yeah. one. So the, the other one is the, um, I really appreciate this. Everything uh can be done in versions yeah and and i heard it two ways one in the context of iterations that there's different iterations and and so on and then i was also reminded of something that i really appreciated from a fellow you may be familiar with perhaps um eric edmeads um anyhow he's a, an internationally known speaker but he also has specific things he supports people around but one of them is i think he's got a speaking public speakers academy is one of his things on big stages and one of the things he talked about the first time i heard him speak that i i really appreciated was he talked about going on stages where he had to follow bill clinton or tony robbins like some major events where he was and he was intimidated but um, but it was but it was super well received. And on one of those occasions, he talked about he was scheduled to do 15 minutes. But just before he went out, the promoter approached him and said, so and so hasn't shown up. Can can you do 30? Um, you know, and he discovered having a few of these experiences that no matter what he prepared, he needed to be prepared to either take a 45 minute talk and turn it into a five minute talk or take a five minute talk and turn it into. So he got into the habit of, in the, in the spirit of everything can be done in different versions. He got in the habit of, of having different timed versions of his content so that he could quickly adapt yeah. to this to the circumstance i just thought that was a cool thing of you know am, am i doing the extended version the seven minute song or am i doing the three minute song yeah That's totally a, yeah like cool. knowledge is knowledge is an accordion like you can you can have a ph multiple phds on one topic or 
someone who is very advanced in that field and is very profound could summarize a topic in one sentence. Yeah. You know, and both are true. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and the same thing with how we prepare our content is, um, yeah. And, and versions, particularly, I what I was thinking about was that version one, version two, version three, like it, it'll always get better over time as we continue working on it or that we always have that opportunity so that we don't have to prepare so much the first version. Yeah, iterative. Yeah, yeah thank exactly. you. So, thank you. Thanks.